Hey folks, three weeks ago I was sitting here on the steps to my paint shop nearly broke with only $420 left and then came you. A lot of you wrote super nice comments, supported me, donated money and gave suggestions like doing merch to save the channel and I like to follow your suggestions and I like to do merch of course. But there's one thing missing, a super cool graphic of course, but that shouldn't be a problem for me as an artist and designer and I have an idea. That's all about in this video, doing the merch to save the channel. Let's go! Creality sent me the new Falcon 2 laser engraver with a huge honeycomb laser bed and the Creality protective cover to isolate smoke. The protective cover is like a tent with poles that you have to put together. The cover is pulled over the scaffolding and has a 12 volt fan to extract the smoke. The only thing to do before use is to screw the feet to the laser, mount the laser head on the C-axis, plug the laser connector into the C-axis connector, plug the air assist hose into the laser head and connect the air assist pump. It can be adjusted direct on the laser. I downloaded the latest firmware on the Creality website and transferred it to the Falcon 2 using a flash drive. The laser head has its own firmware and with a USB adapter the flash drive can also be used to install the firmware here. And here it is, the Creality Falcon 2 laser engraver with the 20 watt unit. Should be plenty of power, I need maybe 5 to 10 watt to do a laser engraving on a t-shirt. It's hooked to my computer, ready to run, but there's one thing missing, the shirt graphic. And we need of course a cool graphic for the shirt and that's what I made for as a designer. I'm working on my merch shop for you, a lot of asked and I did it, I have a merch shop. Two, one in the US, one in Europe, so please check the links underneath in the video description if you want to get to my merch shop. And now let's pick one of these graphics and I show you what's important for a cool shirt graphic. And yeah, at first we need a message of course, and yeah, check this. My message is Paint till death do us part. Yeah, that's what I want in life, painting till buried, and yeah. I took a cool lettering, cool font and I arranged it in the size of my shirt, but it's a bit boring. So what we can do is we can add a little bit of grunge, little bit of grunginess to the letters and here's the grunge. Now let's remove the letters so we have only the grunge and looks much cooler in my opinion. But what's also needed is a cool hand drawn graphic. I like these graphics very much from a lot of artists and yeah. I try my best to do these graphics as well and yeah, now guess what I painted? Ah, a spray gun. That's what I have most in my hands and that's what I love and what I like. So check out my spray gun. That's the bone spray gun. Bones in the form of a spray gun. It represents me, it represents my work of course. So that's a cool message for the shirt. And yeah, the last thing I need is my Martin Gray sign and we are done. We have the cool shirt graphic. Now we can add some color if it's made for screen printing or whatever. And yeah, we want to burn it. So we have to remove the color because we can do only black and white or burning or not burning. Yeah, that's it. Now let's do the burn. A super short lesson. So please let me tell you why we have only black and white as I mentioned before. I have two graphics for you. In conventional screen printing or direct to garment printing, we add color to the shirt, we print ink on the shirt or on the fabric and yeah, we can choose every color we like of course, it's a big advantage. But now we do laser engraving and we have only the UV light. And what the UV light does is, it removes color from the shirt, it destroys the black pigment on the shirt and what's left is this kind of uh, print, the engraving in a light white bit of off-white of course and that's the reason why we have only two colors. The black from the shirt and the off-white from the laser engraving where we have destroyed all the black pigment on the shirt. I don't want to destroy my t-shirt by doing a test run to find out what's the best setting of speed and power for the laser so I stick the piece of fabric onto this aluminum plate which came with the laser. And 
that's my test piece after the laser burn. As you can see, the laser burned a lot of holes in the fabric and that's what I like to avoid. And that's the reason why I did the test piece. I started with 10% of power up to 60% power and with 70 millimeter per second up to 300 millimeter per second of speed. And somewhere here in the middle is the sweet spot where the color dissolves, but there are no holes in the fabric. And I will pick some of these and I will do a test on the shirt and hopefully my garment will be alive after I did the laser burn. Yeah, and I did some more test burns with the actual graphic to find out how light or dark the graphic can be before the laser burns through the fabric. That was too much, but that can work and that's what I'm using for the shirt. I cut a piece of plywood to size so I can put the t-shirt on top and that's important so the t-shirt sits nice and flat in the laser bed during the burn and the laser head can't crash into the t-shirt or in any wrinkles of the shirt so that's what I recommend put the t-shirt on a piece of plywood stretch it a bit and you are good to go to do the laser burn Let's do a little light burn crash course before we do the engraving because there are two important facts. At first, I like to engrave only the white areas from my Photoshop graphic and at second, I have to convert them into a bitmap and from white to black because the laser understands only black. It can't engrave white areas. But there's the super cool software which can handle all for us and which controls the laser, of course. The Lightburn software, there's a free trial available, so I will link it underneath in the video description if you want to try it out. But now let me show you because it's super simple. And at first I hit file, I import all the white areas from my Photoshop graphic. It's a bit hard to see, but do a right click on the graphic and now hit adjust image. And here you can see my white graphic and at first we have to convert it into a bitmap. So make sure image mode is on Jarvis and the image mode converts any picture, any JPEG or Photoshop picture into a bitmap, um, into pixels. It's a bit hard to understand, not so important for you. The only thing you have to know is that the image mode is on Jarvis. And what's very important is that negative image is activated. Check the right side. It's a white image on a white background. You can see nothing and the laser understands nothing. And to change this, we have to activate negative image. And now you can see a black image and what the software does is it converts all the white areas into black. So the laser understands our right graph white graphic and that's very important. Now hit OK. And yeah, we can frame the image and we are ready to burn. And here it is, the laser engraved t-shirt. But there's one question a lot of you will ask, is it worth buying a laser to do t-shirts? And the answer is definitely no. If you already have a laser engraver, that can be a cool option, but it's definitely not made for mass production. This graphic took nearly an hour, 55 minutes, which is much too long. And for my taste, the contrast between the white and the black is a bit low. I like a brilliant white, so I decided to go with true professionals with textile printers for my merch. And yeah, but if you already have a laser engraver, that can be fun, maybe for a one-off, maybe for hobby or a little present. And that's what I wanted to show you. So that's the result, laser engraving t-shirts. And yeah, thanks for watching. Check out my merch if you want to support the channel. I get around about $5 from every sale. And yeah, see you in the next one. Goodbye.